What's going on everybody? I gotta pay attention because I'm following Tyler Stewart to his tortoise facility out here somewhere in the Mojave Desert right now. I'm pretty excited because he's got two acres of tortoises and they're all out in this desert. I gotta quickly get across this road. Sorry guys. But um, basically what we're gonna be seeing are a lot of different testudo species. So we're talking smaller tortoises and I think you guys are gonna be stoked because I'm stoked. So get ready because we're gonna learn a lot about what it entails keeping exotic tortoises in the desert in Las Vegas. Our animal mission is simple. Education in action, conservation in action. This is Camp Kennedy. And the tortoises out here are always dusty. Hi, girl. You just woke on up. Look at that. So these are the ones that are producing for you, huh? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, there's a couple males here. They're kind of going down for the year. Like you can see, the dirt's all disturbed there. This is kind of how they hibernate. Let's see. You see all this, like all these soft spots? Yeah. You just scratch, you find tortoises. Definitely here. I mean, there's one. grows colder they'll dig deeper is yeah that how they'll adjust a little bit but a lot of them don't really care for the hide box that they have they'll just go to like a root ball wow and that one probably won't come back up it's so cool to just see them do their natural thing look look at these guys right here they'll normally come dump a bunch of straw on top of them just to insulate them on a cold snap or whatever gotcha but they'll bury in here and that's that do you do anything as far as humidity for them or do they no, just do we'll, good? When we water, we'll just toss your little hose in the door gotcha. a couple times a week. Yeah, that makes so sense. So it stays a little wet, kind of wet here now. Cool. And then cools in the summer especially. But in the winter, we don't do much. Maybe once a week we'll come by and water the plants, but that's about it. It's kind of cool to see these Russian tortoises here. They're producing for him and he's getting babies and that's really important because we like to see these animals captive raised. So many Russian tortoises um, are brought into the country. Uh, through Europe from their native Central Asia and man they're just really doing a number on the wild population so it's really cool that he's able to reproduce them. You don't really see a lot of baby Russians uh, offered for sale in the States. They don't they don't produce like a Hermans does. Okay. At least for us we get a lot more out of like a pair of Hermans than you would a Russian. Crazy. But awesome. Let's see what else we got going on. Right here, I like the plant. You can probably guess what this is going to be. Whoa is that going to be pancakes? Pancakes. No way. He's going to do pancake so, tortoises. We got a assembly. I don't open this much, a couple times a year. Okay. Um, they really just hide like all the time. So you already have pancakes in here? Yeah, there's like 10 in here. No way. They just, uh, they like to be left alone and I just let them. I don't mess with them much. I put plywood so that it doesn't break and collapse a rock or something. Oh, that's really awesome, man. I was just to say, did you cut these like to that shape or no, is that those I just bought. This okay. I cut kind of to cover what I wanted. Right. And oh my god, guys, check it out. Oh, that's Look at they... them all. No way. And and will They're... you have to heat these guys? I will. I'll bring them home. Soon. You will. Yep. Oh my gosh, look out, man. That is this amazing. Is the only male. What? He's ancient. Oh, look at that. Pancake tours. We've seen these guys before when we were at out in Ojai at the tor uh, Turtle Conservancy. Yeah. But what a nice amount of pancakes. You need to get another mail, huh? Yeah. I don't trust just buying one, so I'm looking for a long term. Gotcha. Someone's had. There you go. If anyone out there has a long term. I could use a male. There you go. I would even trade him a female. There you have it. Look at that. <laughs> if you got an extra male, he's looking for one. Some so of these cool. are nice size. They're beautiful. Good females. This and one then, we just got recently. It was how do you messed pay, up. pyramid a I've pancake? <laughs> it was captive bred, obviously. Oh my it's, goodness! I think it's about you, two years you old. You know what's amazing to me is looking at how shallow the, sh the, the shelter, shelter is. is. Yeah, <laughs> it's unbelievable. They, like, they, love they it. like having their bag touching that roof. They, they, if you put them in in the upper layer, there was a little bit bigger gap, and they just don't go in there. They like that tight security. And if you reach in here and grab one, 
they'll move about a quarter inch and then they lock up. And that is awesome. Out. They'll push into the roof and into the ground. That is really cool. This is tile also so they can't get down. Wow, that is so cool. This is real street, man. I didn't think we were gonna see some pancakes today. I wish I could keep them in Florida, but again, uh, for me, it's difficult to keep any of these species that like it dry. Mm -hmm. uh, it's just too humid in Florida. How cool. Why don't we help them put it back together? I'll, I'll fix it later. Are you sure? Yeah. Oh, I don't want to. I'm here, man. I don't mind working, but. Yeah. All right, we're going to keep moving then. Thank you for the hospitality. <laughs> All right, guys, sorry we ruined your sleep. <laughs> Afternoon siesta got, for these guys. Kind of Hermans, Hermans, Hermans. These are, we've got a couple Westerns where we're standing. Okay, the Western Hermans. What's the difference between the Westerns and the Easterns? They're a little more yellow. Okay. They're a little more, the black is a little blacker, like more of a contrast. Their average a little bit smaller, um, typically more yellow on the face. Oh, that's right. You just have a trio. Um, and they're all dirty, so you don't really see the yellow. Yep. This I is had a to young, get a fresher because it's a young of, female. Oh, that's awesome. Normally their black bands are a lot more solid, like all the way down, where an Eastern will have like gaps of yellow. Cool. Very cool. This one laid eggs a couple months ago that are incubating right now. You guys have had a bit of a, a coyote problem of late, huh? Yeah, we didn't for a lot of years, and then all of a sudden we were losing tortoises and they couldn't figure it out, so we started looking at the cameras. You see them carrying them off. And we don't really find them chewed up, but you would find them just gone. And oh, a group that crazy. you knew, even like individual tortoises that I just have had forever, I'd go looking for that tortoise and just that one tortoise is gone, like one that was familiar to me. Wow. So it's just a Dalmatian Hermans. Wow. Which are kind of a, I think scientifically they're now pushed in with the Easterns. When they're clean, they're a lot more of like a pale color. Okay. Um, where even the Easterns are a little more yellow. These are almost like a beige. Cool. They're similar to an Eastern, a little bit smaller on average. They normally, I'm trying to find a good example, but right in here, they're normally missing a little triangle here. Okay that these don't have. A couple of them do, but it's not 100% of them either that, that shouldn't. Uh, they're also kind of going down. And so, so many times I get asked, what's a good pet tortoise? What's a good Hermes. start? I love Hermans. Hermans tortoise. There's almost nothing, nothing bad about them. Yep, and they stay small, they're manageable, they're yep. friendly, they chase you around the enclosure when you come with the food. They Just handle, a great tortoise. They handle the heat, they handle the cold. Perfect. These are Easterns, and there's, wow, this is a great, look at the size of this enclosure. This is so cool, man. This is like real property as a habitat, guys. Oh, there's some in there as well. We hang a lot of these in the summer. We, this whole area had them just all over the place. These are really nice. And you can just get like three stakes and attach them to the corner. Normally we keep them down low so the wind doesn't mess them up. But you can make little patches of shade everywhere. So yeah, pretty soon they'll all be dug in. A lot of them in here, up against the trees. And then we'll just dump six inches of straw over everything for the winter. And that's it? You won't see them again until March around? Uh, yeah, late February. We'll start we went around. Oh my gosh. I love seeing how other people do it. I like to get ideas. This is why we're doing this, so you guys can get ideas. Uh, there's Sarah, by the way. She's making her appearance right now. Uh, Tyler, I don't know if, if I even introduced him in this video. Uh, I'm Tyler. There you go. <laughs> uh, these are the Stewarts, and you're at their Tortoise Supplies uh, headquarters. Well, the, uh, the rearing, well, what is it? The Site B, guys, just like Jurassic Park. It's Site B. We didn't even know it existed. Uh, and of course, you're protecting your cactus from the marauding yeah. uh, you can beaks. See where, where they can reach right here is yep. destroyed. But once these get up a little bit taller, they kind of get a thicker skin and then they can handle the tortoises up against them. Cool. Look at these guys. These, like he said, they're starting to migrate towards these areas. And it seems like this is, of course, moisture because this is where they're watering the plants. And these guys are going to get a good old. Well, they kind of get their mud bath and their hibernate, hibernaculum, hibernaculum. I don't know how to say it. Can you say it? I can't say it. Yeah, look it up. <laughs> it's actually brumation. You can see his shell, how it marginates. Yes. Oh, it's just cool. That's awesome. <laughs> and again, guys, these are members of the Testudo genus. So these are all really good tortoises to work with because they stay yeah. small, the but very, they have big personality. Very similar to a Herman's, just a little bit bigger. Wow. Otherwise, it's so nice. You guys have a lot of work. You yeah. do a lot of work. This is kind of the Greek side. These are the Southern Iberic Greeks. Kind okay. of a yellow, but they're large. The 
Greek pens are not that big because they're not very big of grooves. Most of these are like four to five, six tortoises. So these are 12 by about eight feet. Their they're size perfect. Is awesome. Yeah, look at that. Yeah. The northern Iberia. The northern, huh? More like a kind of greenish gray black. Mostly black belly. They're all dusty. Everything stays dusty here. That's fine. No, they don't complain. When you wash them off a little bit, they just look just wild. beautiful. Look at the difference. Oh, wow. You see the greenish? Are, these two are almost identical when they're mm -hmm. clean. That's awesome. What these beautiful are twelve, three females, a couple males in here too. And they are quite, yeah, they're pretty hefty, pretty yeah. big girls. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. Good yep. size. But they're friendly. When we come out, they'll follow us. They'll all come right out to front, say hi to me, meet yeah. me, you know. They'll follow me around if I'm out working. When it's warm. Yeah. Yeah. When it's warm. <laughs> this is some... Um, these are Caspian Greeks. Buxton, Buxtoni, Buxtoni. I don't know. Let's see them, man. I... Kind of smaller, blacker. There's a dirty one. They're mostly just, if you kind of rinse them, they're kind of a gray, like a dark gray. Yeah, that's pretty. Black bellies, small adult size. <laughs> that is cool. Man. There's so many different subspecies of uh, Greek tortoises. Yeah. yeah. My and favorites are the goldens because they're that buttery yellow. They're beautiful. But it's amazing how different. They're fun to collect because there's so many different kinds of Greek tortoises. That's cool. That you can get, yeah, it's cool. You guys can do this nicely out here, that's for sure. I love making use of all these roof tiles and pavers. So you guys get some good ideas of what you can do to, you know, make it totally good for the animal but cut costs for you. And, you know, this stuff, I love this kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. yeah. Because you can make, you can decorate, you can even cover more, you can make it look like a cave, and it works perfect. And since these animals can take the cool, you don't have to do any supplemental heating, which is nice, sec like you said, maybe just oh, make sure there's some straw. straw. Or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. Those we set up on a two by four, so they raise up a little higher. That way they're not rubbing too hard on the tops of the shells. Gotcha, yeah, you get some shell erosion if you don't do it, you know, if you don't do something like that. I love this too, how this kind of frames that. Yeah, that's little a creation. So that's a native bush. Okay. They don't really eat them. They're technically toxic, but they, that just popped up there. I've left it. The desert tortoises live under them full yeah, time. They that's cool. They're nice shade. Zero water. Perfect. Surprisingly green. Yeah, for the Vegas right. desert, we need that greenery. <laughs> yeah. Holy. And then they pop. With guys, you get it in the sunlight. Look at that. Golden Greek tortoise. Now you know why it's called the Golden Greek tortoise. What range are these guys coming from? They're all over the Middle East, kind of like in uh, Lebanon. Okay. And, uh, how beautiful is that, guys? So this is what I was talking about. This is essentially a Greek tortoise. They have a, a very large range. They go all the way around the Mediterranean. And uh, each area of their range, you'll see a different type of Greek or subspecific. They're subspecific? Subspecies. Yeah, so yeah. there you go. The deserty ones kind of tend to be yellow. Yeah, and the Egyptians are actually a Greek subspecies, or have it's, they been moved it's to a species? subspecies? It's a subspecies. Yeah, they're real similar, yeah. though. Man. And they're just, they're even smaller. I mean, they're two thirds that size. Oh, cool. That's the Golden adult. Greek. Their babies pop out oh. buttery yellow. And do you they're find offspring in the enclosures? Yeah, yeah we great. just let them hatch naturally out of the ground here. If we see a nest, we will dig it up and incubate it because it, uh, it's just a lot easier for us. But with these ones, we don't have to worry about the parents trampling them and stuff because they're not so big. Right. So we just let them hatch out of the ground naturally. Oh, that's so cool, man. You guys can do that. You know, yeah. it doesn't rain and uh, they incubate nicely. What a beautiful tortoise. We're going to put her back down. So amazing. That's that's really impressive, man. Holy smokes. Love the enclosures. My God. The next group is some Middle Eastern and like Jordan, Jordanian. Okay. Greeks. They're kind of like the golden, a little more black. Okay. You can see the difference. Yeah. A lot more variable. Right. We have a few more Quite a few. Yeah. So where were you getting all these? I mean, just over time, you're just yeah. You're just a lot of these, them. I don't really like buying them from people so much because a lot of time they have more problems than even a wild caught. But yeah. these, although this group was what was imported. I think it was 2008 or 2009. Gotcha. I bought them right then, and they were all like four inch, right? A four inch. Wow. Yeah, a lot of these we've had many years, so we take a lot of pride in them. So yeah. Some are a little blacker. They were all collected and imported at the same time, so we just keep them all the same. They look pretty consistent, and they also get pretty dang yellow if you wash them off. Oh, Have you ever sorry. seen so many variety of testudo? You know, I've never <laughs> seen them in one area. Uh, you know, Chris Leone out in New Jersey, Garden State uh, Tortoise, he's got a lot of testudo, he loves them. Uh, but this is really cool to see out here because it's, it's very similar. It's 
not exactly the same habitat, but it's similar, more dry, you know, they come from a Mediterranean climate, but, it, but again, wait, Jordanians actually are desert species. So yes, this is so cool because I'm seeing all the different variety that can really do well out in the desert, man. How long is this? This is Egyptians. Really? Oh, no way. It's an adult female. Holy smokes. Probably 15 or 20 years old. Adult female, that's it. Think about this. He just said 20 years old. How about it? That's the perfect tortoise if you have space con uh, constraints <laughs> and gorgeous. And just behaves like a tortoise. Just like a Greek. Yeah, does its thing. My goodness, 20 years old. Wow, how you doing? You still got a long way to go, but you are full grown. Isn't that neat? See, I'm used to working with the big stuff. That's a lot of tortoise in a little size. Good deal, let's put them back here. Sweet. There somewhere. Yeah, there you go, kids. This is our smaller radiated. Oh man. That mulberry? Yep. Down the mood? Up, up. Oh yeah, you are. Eyeballing. There you go. It's green, I'm eating it. These ones will have to come home for the winter. Yeah. Gotcha. Be home so probably what another week or two. They love it out two. here. Yeah. yeah. The heat, but yeah, they'll have to come home. Yeah, we're right about to get into the uh, winterish season. Luckily, it doesn't last very long here. That's good. Well, I was just saying, what does that mean? Does it shut down for you at that point? You don't really... Out here, everything kind of hibernates. The stuff that won't, like the pancakes and these, they'll go back to our house. Okay. It's gotcha. But no, we, we still have babies. Um, the incubation is pretty much done. We have a couple eggs left. Yeah. Um, uh, but for, for the most part, we get we have enough to make us to Christmas. We usually sell out at Christmas in the next couple months. We're a little slow. Yeah. But then we have... We have more coming and hatching. That's cool. Uh, I see a black shell. I know what it is. Aldabra. Little Aldabra. This reminds me of my buddy Nostradamus. He was even smaller than this when I got him. But this is a beautiful tortoise. Gotta love the little giants. My gosh, if it's a male, it'll be close to nine, uh, excuse me, 600 pounds. Goodness gracious. Oh, that's awesome. And you have the one. Yeah, and actually yeah. that one sold. Oh, wow. It was for sale. It oh, sold. We're good. shipping it in about two weeks. All right, there you go, little buddy. See you later. <laughs> They're awesome. Gotta love Aldabras. So someone a long time ago dropped off a laundry basket on our front door full of desert tortoises. Oh, man. And we... Uh, we don't breed them, we, you know, on, on purpose anyways, but we've just kind of put a couple out here to see how they do. And there's Bertha. Pretty much hibernate right in here. Yeah. Down. This one's working on a burrow. Oh my gosh, these are little ones. Yeah. So this is the uh, native species. Yep. They live right on the other side of that. So those ones we do not sell. We, right. Yes. But we love having They're them. Fun. They're really cool. The little differences between them and beautiful. Love desert tortoises, man. Gophers alkazizi, and out in Florida we have gophers polyphemus, which is the gopher tortoise, and it's their basically uh behave the same way and they're closely related they look the same yeah Bertha, cool. she she loves me she'll follow me around everywhere she's fine right. she's a fun tortoise. Awesome. i love the, the yucca tree right uh, that that's is? a joshua oh joshua that's a joshua tree yeah, yeah those were here when i should know that out here we just left them where they stood they're yucca all are, they, they kind of have they, these spikes right out of the ground okay yeah the tree oh, that's yeah. the joshua tree yep great album by you too 1987. Yeah. go check it out <laughs> i love the band uh very cool Pretty much it. We're pretty much it. I mean, we've seen so much on this tour, man. And guys, we have some other videos with the Stewarts as well that you guys will probably have a link. Tom, you got to put a link in the bottom. Uh, we had some bonus videos. So, uh, and if you become a Patreon supporter, you'll see yet another bonus video with these fine folks who let me completely interrupt their day. Right on in our show bedroom. Room. <laughs> yeah, we let them in their bedroom. Exactly. Uh, so anyway, I just want to thank you guys so much. And if you're interested in getting tortoise from them, go to tortoisesupply.com. Uh, like and share these videos. Thank you so much for being a member or subscribing to them. And uh, go to patreon.com slash Uh And we got to get them home because they're nine-year-olds watching everybody. But I like that. <laughs> Self-reliance. Get the kid working early. They start Very young cool. in our family. That's what you got to do. Six kids, right? Six boys. Six boys. Woo. Well, they got a farm. And you're doing like farmers do. You make they farm they really do love it. They love helping, helping dads. That's what they're good kids. Yeah, that's awesome. Oh, and if you want to get your hair done, yeah, right here. <laughs> there you go. Egyptians right there. Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys. We'll talk to you later. Thanks for hanging out with us.
Let's go. Let's go.